Yo guys, what's up, it's Crips and welcome to another Destiny video. So in today's Destiny video, I'm bringing you Titan Fashion Sets number 10. Now if you're new to the channel and don't know how this sort of video works, I'm be showing off three of my own Titan sets and then four winners from the Discord, as well as some honourable mentions for those which are close to winning. Now all the winners today will receive the chosen title within the Discord. Now this title will give you a colour change for your name, and also display a title underneath your name. Now if you do want a chance to be featured in the next video which will be a Warlock fashion sets, then please go ahead and join the Discord, go down to video submissions and submit your Warlock sets. Now I also want to say thank you all so much for 8000 subscribers, I cannot thank you all enough, it's absolutely amazing that we hit the sub goal before the end of the month, so I just want to say again thank you all so much for the insane support, and I do have a video coming up for 8000 subs, and that is going to be the themed fashion sets video, but yeah I also have an Instagram which I've been posting more sets to, so please go and check that out and give me a follow if you want to see more of my sets, but yeah it's time we get straight into the first titan set of mine which is this in game. Now I went and bought the Lux ornament set as I previously did not own this ornament set and that is why you haven't seen it in the past but I do have it now, the full set, so I will be featuring it in more sets. Now as you can see this armor set matches really nicely with the Monte Carlo. This isn't why I based it off but when I made it and paired it with the Monte Carlo it just really looked nice. So yeah my aim with this set was to use the Peacekeeper's Exotic and I think it turned out quite well. So yeah as for the armor the helmet used the Lux ornament from the Eververse Archive. The arms used the Virtuous ornament from the Season of Dawn Pass. The chest plate used the Moonfan X7 chassis from the Prophecy Dungeon. The boots used the Peacekeeper Exotic from World Drops and the mark is the Lux ornament from the Eververse Archive. And as for the shader that goes over the whole armor set, it is Iron Mossbone, which is from the Season of Undying Iron Banner. But yeah, I think it matches really nicely together. Now there is one chest plate I'd recommend if you have it, and that would be the Sunbreaker ornament. Now this can be found in the Eververse Archive. I'll go ahead and show you all this now, but the reason why I didn't use it is because I simply don't have it, and I didn't really want to pay 1,500 silver for a chest plate. So maybe in the future if I need more of the pieces I'll purchase it, but for now I wanted to use the moon fan as a replacement. So yeah I think I did a pretty good job seeing this is my first time using a Peacekeeper's Exotic in a Titan set. But yeah that's pretty much my first Titan set, let me know what you all think of it in the comments below. And yeah I hope you all like the set. So as you can see this is my second set for the Titan. Now I did intend on using the Saiyan's Ramparts Exotic as I haven't used this many times before in the set. Now as for the armor, the helmet chooses the Forbidden Visage ornament from the Season of the Hunt Eververse. The arm uses the Saiyan's Ramparts Exotic from World Drops. The chest used the Pyrrhic Ascent Plate from the Charles of Osiris. The boot used the Virtuous Greaves from the Season of Dawn. And the mark uses the Siege Break Ornament from the Season of Arrivals Pass. Now the shader that goes over the whole armor set is 44 Steel, which is from Bright Engrams and can sometimes be sold in the Brightest Store. Now in game obviously it looks a bit different because of the lighting, but it's much easier to see here as it is a full bronze set. And I think this looks really nice, especially with the Sight and Ramparts. I think it matches this colour very nicely. So when I got the Charles chest plate, I seen these like spiky bits coming off the chest as you can see here. And I think this matched very nicely with these Saiyans. Even though it's not like robotic and has wiring, I think like the spikiness and how it looks very much matches that of the Saiyan Ramparts. Especially with like these arm plates here with the spikes coming up off it as well. And then the siege break because of like all these pouches and I just think it suited the set a lot more and there's like metal going around with bolting and then with the helmet using the forbidden visage with a bit of the spikiness again and I just really like the look of the helmet on this set. But yeah overall I don't really have an alternative shader for this as I think this shader just perfectly matches this set and I don't think any other shader other than maybe a silver or something like war brick which could look you know well, somewhat good with this but I think personally this bronze just suits the best with the armor I've used and yeah just let me know what you'll think of it in the comments below. Now this is my third and final set that I made for the titan before we move on to the discord winners. Now I want something very different with this set and decided to use some really old gear that I really liked dating all the way back to the solstice 2018 event so I know some of you may not have this gear as if you knew this gear is no longer obtainable, but I thought I really wanted to just show this off because I really love this set I made. So here it is in the character screen. Now I do have an alternative shader for this, which I'll show you all in a bit after the armor. 
but yeah even if you can't obtain the helmet or mark anymore the chest boots and arms are all obtainable so if you like this color and how the armor flows together you could just simply find a replacement for the helmet and the mark and make your own look for this i'd love to see like other people's looks in the discord for this set but yeah as for the armor the helmet is the solstice 2018 helm with the void glow the arms are the doomfang pauldron exotic from world drops the chest and boots are the celestial ornament from this season's eververse now i have covered a video on this set on the channel and the mark is also the solstice 2018 mark with the void glow now note you have to use the sentinel super for the void to glow brighter if you do have this armor as you can see and then the shader that goes over the whole armor set is armatura which is for reaching rank 9 in the season of the chosen pass which is currently this season now alternative shade i would use is golden trace as you can see on screen right now now this drops from bright engrams and can sometimes be sold in the bright dust store but yeah i know many of you won't be able to use this exact look but it was just something i was experimenting with and i just really loved so i thought i should share it but yeah like i said earlier this is very easy to make your own one with because the chest boots and arms are all obtainable you just need to change up the mark and the helmet you can do whatever you want and just feel free to message me on discord your versions of this set i would love to see whatever alternatives you can all think of yeah i hope you all like my sets and it's time we move on to the discord winners so now before we move on to the discord winners i just want to say that the next video is going to be a warlock fashion set video so please go ahead and submit your warlock sets into the discord and all the winners today will receive the chosen title within the discord so yeah i just want to say congratulations beforehand to everyone for participating there were a lot of submissions and i couldn't make these videos without you guys and thank you all again for subscribing and even joining the discord to help participate in these videos you all are absolutely amazing and yeah it's time to move on to the first discord winner which goes to 2004 chevy ssr with a set called the copper age knight this is a very unique and nice looking set for the titan and definitely something i have not seen before now the how much uses the helm of the great hunt from the last wish raid the arms use the solstice 2020 gauntlets the majestic version the chest uses the illicit collective plate from the reckoning and this is no longer in the game the boot used the Scathorn Greaves from World Drops, but this has now been Sunset. And the Mark used the Lectus Ornament from the Season of the Chosen Pass. Now as for shaders, they use 44 Steel on the Helmet, Arms and Boots. Mercurian Sunrise on the Chest, and Copper and Blood on the Mark. Now as for 44 Steel and Mercurian Sunrise, these can both drop from Bright Engrams and can sometimes be sold in the Brightest Store. And then as for Copper and Blood, this can drop when dismantling Tangled Shore gear with the shader already applied but yeah it's an absolutely amazingly unique set the armor flows really nicely together and i just love the use of the shaders again people don't really go with copper and bronze sets so this is absolutely amazing to see and i love the use of armor in this i don't really see many people use the reckoning gear as well as the last wish gear very few of you use this and I think the combination that you've done here just works so well together and definitely gives off that night look. So yeah, congratulations on getting your title. Now moving on to the second Discord winner. This is a set I absolutely love. So congratulations to Juicebox. Now if you don't know, I'm a massive fan of Marvel and I absolutely love this set you made here with the Iron Man Mark III suit as your reference. This looks absolutely amazing and I just love the use of colours in this set, it's, it perfectly matches Iron Man and the use of the armour is just so clever with what you've done especially with the Kairos function chest as it has that little glow piece in the chest which is exactly like what's on his suits but as for the helmet they use the Devastation Complex which dropped from Legendary Engrams the arms is the Mimetic Saviour arms which also dropped from Legendary Engrams the chest is the Kairos function chest which dropped from Mercury Packages the boot choose the Noble Constant Red Type 2 from the New Light Quest. And the mark is the Mark of the Collider from Legendary Engrams. Now as so for the shader that goes over the whole armor set is New Monarchy Regalia, which was from Faction Rallies in Year 1. Now this is no longer in the game. Now a lot of this armor is already sunset, and I'm not surprised really because a lot of the old gear was much simpler and more suited for this type of set as a lot of the newer sets are more complex with how they look, having a lot of glow lines and I see why you wouldn't have picked many of the new pieces as they don't look like the Iron Man suit you were referencing 
And yeah, I think this deserves a win because you chose to do something very unique and you referenced something very well. This clearly represents Iron Man. So yeah, congratulations again on winning and getting your title. So now moving on to the next Discord winner, which goes to YTR. Now they have won multiple times in the past and you already have this title, so congratulations again. So yeah, I really like this set mainly because the glow throughout the gear, the use of the new trials gear, and I think the shaders just work so well with the glow that you've done here. So now moving on to the armor, the helmet used the Solstice 2020 Magnificent Helm, the arms used the Celestial Ornament from the Season of the Chosen Eververse, the chest and boots used the Pyrrhic Ascent Armor which is from the Trolls of Osiris, and the mark used the Lucent Light Ornament from the Dawn and Eververse. Now as for shaders you want to use Amethyst Veil on all the armor except the arms, and then use Metro Shift on the arms. Now both these shaders drop from bright engrams and can sometimes be sold in the bright dust store. But overall you look really cool with this armor and I think the colors and the glow just match perfectly well. But yeah that's an absolutely amazing set and congratulations again on winning. Before we move on to the fourth and final discord winner, I do want to give some honorable mentions to sets which I think were close to winning. So these sets go to i4, Exergy, Gregson, Infected Raven and a Happy Perserker. All these sets were really nice. So yeah, congratulations guys, you all did absolutely amazing. They were all really well made. But yeah, it's time to move on to the fourth and final Discord winner, which goes to Primordial Nexus. With a really nice purple set. Now he's named the Purple Menace. And I think this looks really cool using many different armors and a shade I haven't yet seen in a set. So the helmet used the future facing ornament from the Eververse Archive. The arm used the star-crossed fists ornament from the Eververse Archive. The chest used the virtuous play ornament from the Season of Dawn Pass. The boots used the Dune March as exotic with the hip wider ornament. And the mark used the virtuous mark ornament from the Eververse Archive. Now the shader that goes over the whole armor set is Nectar Dynamo, which was sold in the Brighter Store during the Season of the Hunt. Now we can see this returned in the Brighter Store in the future. But yeah, it's a very cool set. I absolutely love the arms. I didn't think they'd look this nice like the Starcross gear, as I haven't purchased that set either due to it not looking that good in preview. But in your set, it looks absolutely amazing. Even though they're all from different sets, they match very well together. And I absolutely love what you did with the shader Nectar Dynamo. But yeah, congratulations on making such an awesome set. And yeah, I hope you like your title. But yeah, that's pretty much all the sets for the video. Please let me know what you all think of them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please consider joining the Discord. We are now coming up on 1,500 members. And yeah, the next fashion video will be a themed fashion set tonight for celebrating 8,000 subscribers. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all so much again for 8,000 subscribers. That's absolutely insane that we're just hitting these goals so easily. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.